Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Yoshi and today I want to show you my Lolita wardrobe 2021 edition. I have done the Lolita fashion wardrobe tag once before. I think it was in 2019 and I did a Instagram post, I think. But last year I didn't do it at all. And to this year I want to show you it in a video format. Last year was a god awful year for most of us, but it was good Lolita year for me because if some of you guys do not know, I am also a cosplayer as you can see here. So I usually go to a lot of conventions, so my money goes to like hotel hotels and convention tickets and travel tickets etc. So because of the virus, everyone, everything was cancelled, so I got money back from hotel reservation and from convention tickets and stuff like that. So I have, I had money that would otherwise be spent on those. So I bought a lot of wine I had last year. I also sold um, six of my ten pieces, uh, main pieces last year, so my wardrobe was really empty. So that's why I have all this now. I have 20 main pieces and they're all, all brand. I have owned Taobao and Bodyline before, but I personally prefer brand main pieces. You do not have to own any brands to be a Lolita if there are some beginners watching this. You do not need to own any brands, but I personally pre prefer my brand main pieces. But for like blouses and headdresses, I really do not care. Like this, but this blouse and this headdress are both from Taobao. And I started collecting and wearing Lolita fashion in junior high, so it has been almost four years. Next month it's uh, my fourth year uh, Lolita anniversary. So yeah, and at that age, it's I I do not have a stable income, and when you do cosplay and Lolita, which are both expensive hobbies, you really need to think what are you going to spend your money on and if you're thinking about starting either one of these or both of them just save money um, think about if you have some old clothes you could sell or like toys or figurines or something and get yourself a little fund for cosplay or Lolita or both if you're going to do both you need to really think when are you going to buy what and what do you want to spend your money on. So yeah, um, let's finally start. I organized my wardrobe by color. So first we have uh, pink, lavender, mint, sax and blue, then navy, red and brown. And I also put uh, skirts first and then salopettes. And the first item I actually don't have here, I put it somewhere on the screen, it's wrapping cherry uh, skirt in white from Angelic Pretty, and I found it on Frill, and it's still coming in the mail. But I really like it because it has these red cherries and this lavender and pink combination, and I love lavender and pink. I think, and I also think it would be really uh, nice to wear it like casually, because I have been really wanting to wear Lolita more with my everyday wardrobe. So yeah, now the first piece I have here, it's Cinderella skirt in purple and pink from Baby the Starshine Bride and Disney collaboration in 2013. Here it is. It is really cute. I found this on Closet Child last year and I have worn it a lot. Next item, item is, oh, oh god, they're stuck. This is, my wardrobe is really full. It's Baby the Starshine Pride's Agate Salopet. I found this on the lace market and my mother actually got it for me to wear it in school. It's plain and really casual and it was such a good bargain. I'm something some people like to call a hunter lolita. I love just browsing for hours on second-hand sites and finding good deals and when I'm not shopping for myself I try to look for my friends dream dresses and stuff like that so I really 
I find a lot of bargains usually and most of my <laughs> dresses are just bargain finds which is always great because customs and as a high school student I do not have that much money <laughs> so yeah this is I can taste a little bit and the next one is also a salopet. It's Royal Chocolate from Angel Pretty in pink. Um, this one I got, uh, I think it was 2019 Christmas from my mother as a Christmas gift. And this was actually my first salopet. And I we found this on Closet Child. So I really love it. I usually wear this bow on my head, so that's why it's on there or not on salopet. But yeah. Next one is actually my one of my dream dresses that I found last year. It is Holy Theater special set from Angel Pretty, and I found this from Closet Child, and it was such a good deal. Because this dress usually sells for like three to four hundred dollars, and I found this for a something like hundred, one hundred. So it was such a good find, and I this has been on my dream dress list for I think since the beginning when I started to wear Lolita. So I love it. It has the lambs and the bunnies and the cat. And it has the terrible in in <laughs> English, <laughs> but yeah, and it has full back shirring for an OP, so that's why it fits me. But this is a really weird shade of pink, and it didn't come with the matching head bow, so I have a little bit of trouble coordinating it. But I love it really much. Next up is also a great find from last year. This is. Alice and the Labyrinth of the Clockwork World from Alice and the Pirates. This came out in 2018, I think. And it's the lavender colorway. On the bottom, there is all the time motifs and Alice and the Father of Time riding the chronosphere. And it is really pretty. And I found this from Closet Child. It was also a great bargain. And it's one of the most worn dresses last year. And I love this nice lavender and pink shade and I love all the time motifs and flowers and it's really pretty. I have a couple of these cuts right as you can see right now. They are like this shoulder puffy straps. So yeah. The next one is Dreamy Planetarium Sailor JSK from Angel Pretty. This came out in 2016 and I have actually owned this in three colorways. I have owned this in the Galaxy colorway which was my first. Then I bought the lavender one and then I found the navy one. But right now I only own this one because it is really short and this was my favorite colorway that I worn of this. I worn this most of them because it's really short. It's uh, really hard to wear with the petticoats so, because the petticoat is almost always trying to peek out under the skirt. And I love it to wear more casually in the summertime. And I hope I can one day find a no more normal GSK cut of this because this one is really really short. But I love all the horoscopes, and this was one of my first dream dresses that I got. So yeah, Dreaming Planetarium. Next one is a literally a miracle bargain. It's polka dot chocolate salopet set from Angel Pretty, and it came out in 2014. I found this last year on Wonderworld, and it came without customs and without tax fees and it was just a miracle it was this was only like freaking 40 euros or something like that it was so cheap and i really love it it has a couple stains on the sides but i ignore them 
and the buttons or these little chocolate like M&M's kind of chocolates and it's really pretty it came without the matching headdress but I don't mind it I can cord with a lot of colors and you have actually seen my last cord of this in my last video so yeah look at the chocolate next up is a Nutter AP dress it's Baked Sweet Parade from Ancho Pretty, of course, and it's in mint. And this one I found on Lace Market, and it is my most expensive second-hand dress. It was quite decently priced for Baked Sweet Parade with the matching beret, but I got customs from a country that I did not know I could get customs from, so that's why it is my most expensive second hand dress that I have right now but it is a dream dress and I love all the donuts and the little gummy bunnies and all the cookies and I dressed my friend Leo up on this on my last video so yeah next up is actually my first ever Lolita dress I got it is Prière d'espoir, Light of the Oath and the Fate of Love, or Prière d'espoir, um, Oath of the Love and Light of Destiny, I think. I uh, it got a like a new like translation, so that's why I learned it the other way. But now the translation is like changed. So yeah, but to me it's Light of the Oath and the Fate of Love, <laughs> and it's from the book and movie Les Miserables and I actually got this from the physical baby the Starship Pride store in Paris it's not there anymore but when I started to lo wearing Lolita fashion uh, I got it was the winter holiday and my me and my mother went to Paris and I got to be on the ba physical baby the Starship Pride store and the Andrew Pretty store so my first cord was all brand and it, they actually had the uh, winter sale it was the last day of the winter sales so this dress, the original price was 300 okay my camera cut but I do not wear sacks that much anymore but I really love it and it has full back shearing and it came out in 2016, so when I got it, it, they just wanted to get rid of it, so that's why it was so cheap. But yeah, this was my first ever Lolita dress. And I'm so grateful that I got to be in the physical baby, the Star Shop Pride store and the Android Pretty store. I have been there twice and once in the baby, because baby is closed now. But I really love it and yeah, I... I I just love it, it's such a great dress and I have so many great memories with it the next up is another dream dress and actually I released from last year and you have might seen it before it's Kumia's Christmas Market from Baby the Starshine Pride in Saks this is the first GSK version and I did an unboxing of this one and I just love it. I love all the Christmassy and pastel motifs and all the happy colors and the lace and all the detailing and the ribbon. The ribbon is such a pretty lip ribbon and I really love it. Me and my mother actually got this work together so that's why yeah, it took a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, thinking before I got it and it's it's really pretty and I love it so much next one is um, oh oh god it's stuck it's it's stuck it's Alice and the Alphabet Labyrinth from Alice and the Pirates oh oh my hair is <laughs> being electrified with the dresses oh god okay um, this is the JSK version it's new with tags. My mother got this for me and we found it on Closet Child. 
and the cut of it, it doesn't suit me, so I'm actually starting to stress, so if you're interested to buy it, let me know in the comments, so I can give you a link to this dress, to my lace market. So yeah, it is the blue version, and it has all the leathers, and Alice and the white rabbit, and yeah, it is, again, new with dark, so... I'm really sad that it doesn't fit me, but you win some, you lose a few hundred, I guess. Okay, uh, actually next up is the dress I'm wearing, which is Alice and the Pirates Star Touring Pirate Ship and the Boundary Between the Sky and the Sea in Navy. This came out last year, and it's actually my first time wearing it. I love all the horoscopes and the stars and it is was on my dream dress list before I got it and I I just love it and this is such a pretty color and it has a very flattering cut so and it actually fit my fits my bust so it's I just love this dress and I don't know why people do not like it it, it was on sale and I got this one was on the I got this as a Christmas present for last year so you can see it on my what I got for Christmas video and it's just, it's gorgeous. I actually, if you, I probably didn't say, but I mostly wear sweet, sweet Lolita. But I also wear something, sometimes a little more classical in someone's opinion. And then I wear Pirate Lolita. And I really love this dress. Like last year I got a lot of Pirate Lolita pieces and I just love the, love the substyle. You can maybe see in the little mirror corner my pirate hat over over there so yeah but this was starter and pirate ship um next one up is one of my ultimate dream dresses that i got in my second year in lolita i think it is mercurator antique shop from Angel pretty and i wear this dress a lot and it is so gorgeous I found it this one from Lace Market and it was such a great bargain like back in the day like not that long ago this sold for like 500 and four, 400 to 500 euros and in this cotton colorway but I found this from Lace Market and it was in Europe and I found this for like a little over 200 I think so it was such a bargain and I really love it. My mother <laughs> dislikes this print a lot but we have different like she likes this one a lot but she doesn't like this one <laughs> but we have different tastes so yeah I got this one and from Lace Market and I really love this it came out in 2015 I think and yeah that was my creature antique shop Next one is, oh god, it, it's stuck, my wardrobe is too small, it's Treasure Hunt in the Mystic Island, Mary J.S.K. in Navy, this is from Alice and the Pirates, and it came, in, came out in 2012, and I found this on the lace market, it came all the way, like, from Australia, I think. And it is such a pretty dress. This one was also on the top of my dream dress list for a couple of years. And I finally found it. Unfortunately, because it is an older dress, it doesn't fit me, so I need to wear a binder with it. But it's such a pretty dress. I love all the pirate motifs and the different island and the treasures and the swords and the crowns and the parrots and it is perfect. I, I just love it a lot. So yeah. Next up is a very special dress. It is Kronos Utopia from Angel Pretty to OP. And this one my mother got me in my first year of Lolita as a Christmas present. And she got it from the release from AP Paris and back then she didn't know how small Japanese sizes are 
so she really didn't know that it wouldn't fit me <laughs> without binder but I love it and I cried that Christmas because I didn't expect it at all I have the matching socks also but I really love it and it has so much meaning for me and I just I love the print so much and I adore this dress but I wish I could fit it without binder but I can do really nothing about it, but this one is also on sale in my lace market. So if you want to get this dress so I could get the JSK, you can drop me a comment and I can give you my lace market link. So yeah. The next up is another dress my mother got for me. It's Night Fairy Fantasia from Alice and the Pirates. And this came out in 2011. My mother got me got me this for the one hot dance that we do in Finland. It is like a really big thing that uh, we do in Finland in high school. It's so I I'm going to wear this dress, but unfortunately the dance is being postponed because of co the the virus. So <laughs> yeah. And this one uh, is a Peter Pan theme, and it has that I th I th think this is called like tr trying to be the Tinker Bear Bell, and then there is TikTok the crocodile somewhere, and there is scenes from Neverland, and it's really pretty, and I hope I can dance in it someday, but unfortunately we are uh, we are being school from our homes, so. No physical school, so we hadn't had the time to do the dance practices. So, yeah. But and this was one. Of, uh, this one I found from Wonderworld. So yeah. And the, I think this is the oldest piece I have. It was one 2011, so from 10 years ago. Only a couple more pieces. Next up is. <laughs> Where have you seen this before? Another star touring pirate ship and the boundary between the sky and the sea in purple this time. This one I got last year from the special offer sale on Alice and the Pirates and Babies website last year. And these are both my favorite. I was tossing a bit between these two and I bought this one and as I as a Christmas present I got this one. But it's the same print but with a different coloring and it's so gorgeous I love having these both colors I also have the matching dress for no matching headdress for this one so yeah next up is Twinkle Sky from Android Pretty the wine chess game and I actually did an unboxing on this dress. I found it from Frill and it was really cheap. And it has the horoscopes and this came out in 2016. And it's such a gorgeous color and I wore it as a Christmas dress. But I have worn it a couple other times too already. And it has two pockets and a full back shearing. It's such a gorgeous dress. I love it. It's quite simple but it's elegant at the same time. It's really cute. And the last item that I have is in a different hanger and in a plastic bag. You haven't you have seen this before if you have watched my Baby the Star Shrimp Right Lucky Bag video. It is Alice and the Alphabet Labyrinth OP in beige. This one is also on sale on my last market account. So if you're interested to buy this dress, drop me a comment again. It is really gorgeous and I got this from the Baby Desertion and brought the Lucky Bag but like the JSK, this one does not fit me <laughs> at all so I'm just wait it's just waiting to be sold to another good home So yeah, those were all of my main pieces for now and well I have the one coming but and I'm going to probably do an unboxing but yeah, I was Yoshi and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoy it, think about subscribing and liking 
And also follow me on Instagram at Lavender Wondercut or Raindrops Cosplay. And I will see you next time. Bye!